thing. It's a human rights thing. It's against discrimination, bigotry, and ignorance. It's for justice for all, not just for one. It's just for all. My name is Elizabeth Pack. I am the ambassador for Queer Liberation. Action. Basically, it is my job to try to make connections between Queer Liberation Action and other groups. Uh, usually at rallies, I'm the one with the megaphone. I lead a lot of the chants. I MC a lot of our events uh, because I'm the loudest person there. Silence! It does go beyond gay and lesbian rights. It goes into sexual and personal freedoms for everybody. This affects everybody on all levels. Basically, so we can eventually one day, hopefully, live with the peaceful oh, existence. My name is uh, Rich McPhee. I am the leader of communication and information for the Liberation. My name is Joe Remzik, and I am with Queer in the Braction. Uh, my role is uh, branch manager, if you will, of the Fort Worth area, organizing and holding meetings. I'm Rick Vanderslice. I'm on the advisory board of Queer in the Braction, and uh, I make my own in Dallas, but lately we've been spending, spending a lot of quality time in Fort Worth. Uh, Queer Liberation is a direct action uh, LGBT uh, civil liberties group. We are about trying to get full civil uh, and social equality for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people. And we believe that the, the best way that we know how to do it is through uh, protests, rallies, and other direct action kind of things. Uh, we are glad that there are other groups out there who are doing lobbying. We're glad there are other groups out there uh, doing other sorts of things. But we think our niche is that, and the thing that's missing from Dallas uh, currently, is the is rallies, protests, events like that. I believe that the police should be held to the same standards as a citizen would, higher standards than a citizen would, regardless of the type of person that they're in contact with. Uh, I am out here because not only am I a bisexual, I have to completely agree that everyone needs their civil rights. Many organizations are in direct action where they write letters and they meet in offices. And our position is that we can be more visible on the street, get the public involved, get them angry, let them know what's really going on, and not a watered-down version of what um, newspapers and lawmakers tell us is going on. here to make sure that we're no longer mistreated and misjudged. It's time for us to stand up for what's ours. We're taxpaying Americans and it's time we get what we pay for. I'm out here because it could have been me or any of my friends. And, uh, as our name implies, Queer Liver Action, we're the GLBT community and the allies of our community and we're about our liberation and we believe the way to accomplish that is with action. very social group as well. I mean, we were activists by day and by night, you know, we like to hang out and just have a good time as well. But we're so, activists by night too. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're always doing something and we're about the community, not just activism, but we want to bring the community together. Today's event went awesome. I'm really uh, glad that some people came and that we were able to march and to really uh, get our message out clearly. Uh, it resounded throughout the city. I think everyone knows exactly what we want and when we want it. Separate but equals is not, it's not, separate is not equal, you know? So we want our rights, we want everything to be fair and equal, and that's why I'm here today. For the longest time, let's say since the AIDS crisis, when so many of the leaders of the GLBT movement died, uh, we, we skipped a generation with a lot of our leadership, and it has been real heartening for me to see young people say, I'm tired of this, and I'm going to speak out, I'm going to work vocally. 
hopefully for justice. So we've got older people, we've got middle-aged people, we've got a lot of young people, and the other good point, and these two will back it up, we have a lot of queer allies from the straight community, and we appreciate them more than we could ever say. All right, we're out here because we're both straight, and you know we just kind of feel like this is a, like a supreme injustice against people of, of any race or gender or anything like that. I am out here tonight in protest of the events that were happening at the Rainbow Lounge, and I think that the police and TABC need to get their act together and stop picking on the gay boys. And I think what's important to really get across um, to everybody is that a lot of people have become really complacent. You know, Stonewall was 1969. A lot has happened in the gay movement, as well as every other movement, the black movement, the women's movement, any movement, and we've become complacent as a society. So we're together doing this, and a lot of comments are, let it go, let it go. No, we won't let it go, because we've had too many let it go. Okay, I'm out here today for justice, um, about not just homosexuality, but uh, justice uh, as a people, as a person. I'm out here because I believe in the rights of all humans to be equal and be treated with respect as humans. To support our community and our rights. Where is Mike? Where is Mike? It is, as they say, it's cliche, but the squeaky wheel gets the oil. It's true, though. And if we keep squeaking, eventually we will get that oil. We just have to be the ones calling our Congress people, calling our city representatives, showing up to rallies and protests, coming out to our friends, doing everything we can to maintain visibility, to continue to demand our full civil equality in a very public and a very personal way.